my Taurus friends, Elsie here to do your reading. So it is the reading for the week ahead. It is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. Um, Wednesday is your day, right? So that's why I'm here for you. So um, I am going to be using, uh, to begin this reading, I'm going to be using the um, Modern Witch Tarot is what it's called, and I'm doing that in... Um, uh, for Halloween for the month of October and then at the end of your reading I'm going to be grabbing one of these and this is a deck that I use probably once a year it is the Witch's Wisdom Oracle and it's going to tie in everything that we've been talking about in your reading so um, I am going to be clarifying with different decks I will try to remember to tell you which ones they are as I use them um, but I am here for you. I hope that um, you have had a good week and I hope that I can give you some uh, good news to go by. If you are brand new and you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Elsie and uh, I hope that you'll consider subscribing because we do have a great, great group of people. They all like to interact with each other because they all are high vibing. So I hope that you will take the time to hit the subscribe button um, and all of you, I hope that uh, you this will please give me a thumbs up on my video. Helps me being, be seen, helps me get into the algorithm uh, on YouTube YouTube and uh, helps me grow. So uh, I have got these cards here and I am going to start with cutting them. <clears throat> Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Our bull gang, right? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For your sign, for the week ahead, and we got things falling out. All right, Taurus, here we go. So we have the Four of Pentacles, something that is making you feel, um, something that's making you feel a little closed off to other people. Um, not really, well, maybe it's not really closed off. Maybe you just have something that you are trying to keep from others, something that maybe is under the surface. Um, I don't necessarily know that it's anything negative, but it could be something positive and you're not necessarily saying anything at this time. Then we have the Eight of uh, Wands. Eight of Wands, of course, is fire um, energy. So uh, wands are, um, sorry, just looking at the picture here. Wands are um, uh, Aries, uh, Leo and uh, Sagittarius. Um, the four is pentacles, of course. That is uh, our earth sign, right? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So putting down some putting down some burdens. So things that people have said to you, communications and connections you've had that aren't good. And um, that might be what you're keeping under your hat. Um, I see here that we have uh, the two of these together here and then we have uh, the 10. So I feel like you're keeping maybe some messages that you've had under your hat. I think that you're just keeping them to yourself. I think they're helping you um, with uh, maybe some healing or maybe they're causing some healing, these messages that you're getting. And um, yeah, let's keep going. I need a couple more cards here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Two more cards, please, for our Tauruses collective, anything that you can tell us that's of the highest good of Taurus, please. Love, money, family, relationships, anything that is of the highest good of Taurus, please. Oh, what we had flip out is the Ace of, um, Ace of Cups in the reverse, though. And then we need just one more card here. So I think you're healing from something that was, um, Something that had to do with love, Taurus. Something that had to do with emotions that you feel have been poured out. Um, could have started with some conversation with someone um, that you have feelings for. And then it looks like it kind of fizzled. You then start trying to drop burdens. So I feel like it didn't work out for you. And you are then stuck at the two of swords here. Trying to make a decision about what you want to do next. Um... Yeah, I think you kept that under your hat. I think you kept it to yourself. Um, this is very interesting here. Um, I think you kept it to yourself, these messages that came in. Um, <clears throat> they could be messages of love, messages, I don't know, I have a feeling it has something to do, it has something 
to do with romance or something romantically related. And then, um, yeah, something happens and the emotion pours out of this and then it leaves you at the crossroads, um, not really knowing what to do next, kind of wanting to make a decision, but not really wanting to deal with it right now. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands, which tells me that you are, um, you know, trying to also drop burdens of things that people have, um, that you feel that they have done against you. So things like, um, you know, it could be a, an action that someone took against you that caused all of this, that you decided, you know what, I'm just not going to deal with that person anymore. So um, I'm going to start with clarifying with the... Um, uh, the Celtic, what are they called? The Universal Celtic Tarot. I don't know why I can't re ever remember that name, but um, Universal Celtic Tarot. We're going to start with clarifying with this deck, and I'm going to cut these here. Yeah, I feel like somebody... Somebody went through this all alone and they didn't tell anybody. I don't know if this person that maybe was sending the messages to you, maybe they were married or maybe you're in a relationship and you didn't want anybody to know about it. Um, let's take a look here. Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, please? For Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And it's for the week ahead, please. All right. So we have the hermit. Um, the hermit tells me that, yeah, you did keep it to yourself. You kept it under your hat. You didn't tell anybody. You didn't share it with anyone. And then um, I see here that this is the emperor. So it could have had something to do with um, someone who is an Aries. <coughs> Pardon me. Or a Virgo. This, these are the cards of Aries and Virgo. And um, it could have been the... Um, the Emperor. Let me think for just a moment because I see things here. Um, I feel like whoever was in hermit mode, now hermit mode means that you're kind of ghosting somebody, that you stop talking to them, that you don't take their texts, you don't take their emails, you don't take their phone calls, and I feel like you just stop talking to the emperor, um, that you just stop talking to the Aries. Um, you had kept it under your hat, maybe you had feelings for the Aries, but you kept it under your hat, you didn't tell anybody, and then you kind of just went through this pain by yourself in hermit mode. I think that you had to to cut off your relationship with the emperor. Um, and I don't feel it's because he was mean or rude. Now, I say he because there is a man on this card here, and uh, the emperor is the father of the deck. So it could be um, that it is a man that we're dealing with here, or it could be someone who's female and has, um, you know, favors their masculine. Um, their masculine side. So um, the emperor tells me here that, yeah, you did go into hermit mode and I, I see you kind of, your heart being hurt, you being very sad, spending a lot of time sort of crying and trying to purge these feelings that you had. Um, I think that it came from, or every once in a while this person gets in touch with you or it came from someone who um, has feelings for you. Um, I think in the end though that you end up dropping these burdens. Let's clarify this Eight of Wands first though before we go further. Um, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Please clarify the Eight of Wands for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Eight of Wands please. Too many. Clarify the eight of wands. One moment here. It's a thinking deck today, I tell you. There we go. So for the eight of wands, we have the page of wands in reverse. I, I don't think it was anything that really got off the ground in terms of... Um, in terms of romance. So to me, this page of wands tells me that there may have been an age difference between you and the other person. It also tells me that um, that this was a, a very new passion, like it was at the very beginnings. I don't even think that anything um, came of it in terms of dating or anything like that. I feel like it's a friendship that flipped over into um, love or into um, yeah, feelings, feelings of passion, I think. Um, but then I think that you 
decided better of it. You decided that this isn't something that you could pursue. My feeling is that the emperor is married, um, that the emperor is married or is in a relationship. And I feel as though this nine of pentacles tells me that you just decided that you were just going to not follow this passion with the page um, of, uh, of wands in reverse. You decided that you're just going to stay single. It's easiest that way. And um, that you're just going to carry on with business. You're going to pour yourself into work, Taurus, because, you know, that's what we do, right? <laughs> this is the Nine of Pentacles and uh, tells me that you just poured yourself into work and started stacking your pentacles, trying to save money and just, you know, trying to forget um, that this this thing happened with the emperor. And I don't know what this thing is really. I feel as though it is, um, I feel as though it's just words. I don't think it really took off from much from there. Um, but I think that it was just um, something that you decided wasn't the wasn't in your best interest and you stopped contacting contacting that person and when you did they stopped contacting you as well so let's look at the ten of swords what was the what was the hurt feelings here why are you trying to drop burdens you're trying to drop burdens because you just want to carry on with life the sun is here and you know that um that it, it is time for you to grow it's time for you to grow spiritually, to grow mentally, to grow in your life. And you knew that being in this relationship that may have been forbidden, I just heard the word forbidden, um, that may have been forbidden, that you decided that you weren't going to, um, went, not going to, towards that anymore. I have a feeling you were using your intuition here and not going to go towards that anymore. What you're going to do is love yourself because um, you will continue to grow under the sun. The sun is a major arcana card, as is the emperor. So it isn't something that you could uh, go around. It's something that you do have to go through. Why is the ten of swords here, please? Why is the ten of swords here, please? There we go. The ten of swords is here because of the three of swords. So it was something that, um, that made you made your heart heavy. It was something that made you sad. The Three of Swords is about the mind. It's about communication and connection. It's not really about a broken heart, but those, um, and those three swords are usually depicted, you know, stabbed into a heart. And I feel like the, um, mental issues or the mental, the mental part of this thing that you went through that, um, I feel like, um, you know, the sun came out and then tried to help you heal. So I think that this is a period of healing that you're going through right now. And um, let's look at the Ace of Cups in the reverse. That kind of makes more sense now. The Ace of Cups in reverse here. One moment. Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about being very defensive. So you became sort of very defensive. I feel the pain of this person in this in this depiction here. I feel like you were, your heart was kind of crushed. I feel like you, you expected more from this person. You thought that they had more integrity. You thought that they would, um, you know, even if they didn't want this relationship, that they would have handled it better, but they didn't. And so I feel like, you know, you feel, um, like, Maybe you were on the attack a little bit. You feel like a little bit defensive and you're kind of holding back. This is clarifying the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I don't think you thought it would end up that way um, as the Ace of Cups in reverse. I think you thought that it was going to continue to move forward and it didn't. So then you did realize that you just had to get rid of that energy and um, it's time to put a close to that. So I don't know if this is past energy, future energy or current for you, whoever I'm reading for and whoever this is re resonating with but the world card tells me that you just decided to end it you no longer wanted to have contact with this person block them on facebook block them on instagram you just didn't want to have any contact with this person at all maybe you felt you know like you you thought you knew what was going on and you actually didn't it was um yeah it wasn't anything that um it wasn't necessarily anything that put you into like a, a deep depression or anything. It was like, oh, I read that really wrong. I'm, I'm really sorry, but you never got to say sorry. Um, that things just ended up just ending. And that's the way it ended, just with silence. And so I feel like there's unfinished business here. So, you know, Mercury Retrograde is still at it until the 4th of November. I'm just saying, um, speaking of Mercury Retrograde, sorry to the fire signs for uh, everything ending up backwards yesterday. As you can see, I figured that out. Okay, so um, Two of Swords. What do we have the Two of Swords here, please? Two of Swords, please. Two of Swords, please. Ooh, 
Here we go. Drop the first card, hang on. Sorry about that, I got myself in a tight corner here. <laughs> <laughs> There's very few places it would fall. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So the Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups in the reverse tells me that um, you're still there. You're still there with the emotion. You haven't put it down. You haven't walked away. You just don't know what to do with it. It's still lingering in the back of your mind. You think this person's going to contact you again. And you don't necessarily want to put this down. Um, because there still is emotion here. You still have emotion for this person. We have here two of swords. Please clarify the two of swords and the eight of cups, please. Two of swords and the eight of cups. There we go. And we have the five of swords. So, yeah, I think you are. Mm, Taurus, I think you're hanging on. I think you're hanging on. You want to be the last person standing, you want to win at any cost. I feel like you feel there's unfinished business here and that this person might come back around again. Um, I feel like you can't get them off your mind because you continue to think that they are coming back, that they are coming back to say sorry or coming back to say, you know, anything, something. Okay, so that was the Universal Celtic Tarot. I am now using the Light Seers Tarot to clarify further because I kind of want to know what's going on with this emperor here and um, why you kept it quiet. Interesting. Why did you keep it quiet? Things won't go together. So you two weren't supposed to be together. You can see that my cards <laughs> won't go together. I feel like you two weren't supposed to be together. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't your time. It wasn't your match. It wasn't for you. Um, I have a feeling that this person was already, because I'm looking at the Emperor, and the Emperor has a wife, I think that this person was probably already married. Um, let me take a look here. I'm just going to cut these ones. Oops. All right. So why do we have the Emperor here? What happened with the Emperor and the Hermit, please? Tell Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. What happened to between Taurus and the Emperor and the Hermit? What happened there? Interesting. So I've got the Eight of Swords that fell out. Eight of Swords is in the reverse, though. So I feel like you um, at some point thought that person will never be interested in me. So I'm just not even going to um, go their way. I'm not going to talk to them about it. I'm not going to pretend that anything could ever happen here. But then I think you realize that that person did have feelings for you. So... Um, you started planting the seeds of intention. And it might have been in uh, conversation with this person. It may have been, you know, maybe you guys still were friends and talking just a little bit. And I think that you started planting seeds of intention and that person figured out that maybe you did have an attraction. And um, the hermit, why is the hermit here, please? Why is the hermit here? Ooh. I've got one sticking out here. Take that one and put the rest back because we're all face down here. One more card for the Hermit. There we go. Okay. So the Hermit is clarified by the Nine of Swords. So I think that um, maybe that person got defensive. I think that you read the situation wrong and you thought that they weren't happy in their marriage. You thought that maybe things would work out between the two of you, um, but it didn't work out that way. You started planting the seeds of intention and all it really grew was def of someone being in defense, waiting for, you know, the last shoe to fall, waiting, looking over your shoulder. You had that person looking over their shoulder for you. Um, then you decided to um, get a little more information from the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess for me as a reader is someone who is a light reader, um, someone who's a light worker, sorry, someone who could be a reader or a psychic or something like that, um, someone who gives good advice, someone who keeps secrets. So I feel as though you, um, you then, you know, go into hermit mode and you're connecting to spirit and asking what's going on and I have a feeling that you are told to move on to move along um, I'm just going to ask about the secrets of the high priestess what does the high priestess have to say here what secrets is she holding the high priestess please what secrets is she holding You know 
what? That that person was actually bored in their marriage. That's what she knows. And she also knows that they had um, feelings for you as well. So there is the... Um, <clears throat> The Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups. So it uh, it feels to me like this person actually did have um, feelings for you. Um, I feel like they were married. I feel like they felt um, that they couldn't they couldn't they couldn't come forward. They had to stay silent. Um, that even though. Um, you two were very close and had a really good maybe friendship or relationship. Um, um, I feel like this person did have feelings for you and I feel like they were born in their marriage and I think that you know that. So I don't think it's anything that you, you know, you're not a home wrecker. You didn't try and break anything up. I think you just read the situation wrong or the um, there was a... Um, a feeling that you felt. You could be intuitive and you were feeling that this person was, was no longer happy in their marriage, not happy at all. And uh, that is why um, that is why you decided um, that you would kind of move forward and, and talk to this person. Okay, so then there was messages, right? We have these, um, this eight of wands here. We have these messages clarified by the nine of pentacles and the uh, page of wands in reverse. So no new, um, no new uh, path and passion. I feel like, you know, there was no, no good news to come from it. And that eventually these messages that um, you guys were sending back and forth, I feel like um, it, the whole thing just kind of came crashing down, came to an end. Um, clarifying the nine is the Hierophant. So um, there's you, and I feel like you were the one that ended up saying, you know what, I'm single, I'm just going to stay single, I just don't need this, I don't know what's going on uh, with this other person, but I think that the safest bet is just to stay single. And I think you just wanted to do the right thing as well. You didn't want to come between anybody and their relationship or their marriage. Um, that wasn't what you intended at all. Um, why is the Page of Wands in the reverse, please? Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Wands in the reverse, please, for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There we go. The Page of Wands is in the reverse because of the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords speaks her mind. And I think that maybe um, between the two of you, one of you spoke your mind and said, look, this isn't going to work. And these are the reasons why. Um, you decided to do the right thing and just back off. And I think that's why we end up with the next card being this Ten of Swords. Because now it's time for you, you know, you spent some time thinking that this person maybe had um, feelings for you and now you have to back right out of it because it's just the right thing to do. This person, I think, is married and um, the Three of Swords. Why do we have the Three of Swords here? It looks like it really hurts your heart. This person might have been someone that you really have feelings for. Three of Swords, please clarify. Three of Swords. Why were you feeling heartbroken? You're feeling heartbroken and a little bit defensive. So the um, the Seven of Wands is about taking the higher ground. And I think that's exactly what you did. Um, took the higher ground, even though you were heartbroken, felt like you had been stabbed in the back by someone who was supposedly a friend, and tried to drop those burdens, the communications and connections you've had. Um, what is the Sun card here for? Why is the Sun here? Why is the Sun here, please? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I've got one sticking out here. And it is justice. So it gave you balance. The sun is giving you balance. I feel like the sun is your spirituality. I feel like you paid more attention then to your spirituality, tried to heal yourself, tried to figure out ways. I see someone thumbing through a book. I feel like you were maybe reading about ways that you could um, cut this energetic connection with this person because you really had feelings for them and you needed to drop it. Um, it was the right thing to do. So um, I feel like your justice is your balance. You could have then... Um, you know, met somebody who helped heal you, who could have been a Libra. Um, and that's this card here. That's the sign of this card. So the Seven of Wands tells me that you were defensive and that maybe this um, getting your balance back um, by healing yourself, I think that is um, uh, exactly what you decided to do. I also feel like there could be someone else that has the energy of either um, Leo or 
Aries or Sagittarius or someone who is a Libra that helped you heal. So for the, um, the Seven of Wands here, so we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, if you'll remember, and then clarified by, you know, feeling really defensive here, feeling really hurt, sad, um, feeling sort of betrayed, and then we have the world. So that closes the cycle for you, and you've decided that you've got to close the cycle because it's just not going to go. And the Seven of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands. So then you start having this fighting within yourself, right? That's what the Five of Wands is. It's not really making a decision, but, you know, I wished, you wish it could have, you wished, you know, back and forth, back and forth. It would have been good, it would have been bad, it would have been good, it would have been bad. So then you start, um, I think you start blaming yourself, and I don't think that you should, because I think there were two willing participants here. And I don't think anything happened to put anybody's relationship in jeopardy. I think it was just feelings and thoughts. That's what I see here with swords. Um, I see messages and thoughts. I don't see anything that indicates there was ever anything else that um, happened here except for uh, that the Knight of Cups, um, this person also had feelings for you and I think you knew that. So clarify the world card please for Taurus. Clarify the world card. Clarify the world. There we go. It's this one. It is the Seven of Swords in reverse. So then you felt like you would cut the energetic cord because then you don't have to worry about feeling deceived, right? You don't have to worry about this person hoping that they'll contact you, waiting for them to contact you, and then saying, well, you know, they deceived me. They said they were going to. Well, they didn't. So um, I feel like you feel the worst of it, though. Um, five of Swords. Please clarify the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I think you cut this person out. I feel as though you did not um, move forward. You did not try and contact them again. I feel like um, you just wanted to um, be able to move forward and, and not have to think about it. Because not only did it embarrass you a little bit, but um, that you had misread the situation, um, but you also didn't want to be you know, the, um, in the middle of anybody's marriage, for sure not. Um, I don't know about this justice card, please. What is the justice card? Justice, please. Justice card is the chariot. So yeah, you, you got yourself back into balance pretty quick. I think that either you met someone who helped get you back into balance or you got yourself into balance and started being successful in your life. Um, decided that you were going to just keep moving forward and, um, um, this nine of pentacles to me is someone who has a business, someone who's very successful at what they do. And I think that you just end up pouring yourself into your work and that actually ends up working for you. So I am going to ask for two cards here for you, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We could have two cards, please. I'll pick one. We've got dedication and altar. There's one and... One more. We've got broomstick and, oh, clearance. Neat. <laughs> kind of read that as though broomsticks were on clearance, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so uh, dedication and altar. Let me take a look here. It's at the beginning, altar. You know, those glasses, I need them, but they're never where I need them. All right, I'm going to give it a shot with all the glasses, guys. <laughs> okay, altar. Um, so the altar, you can see, has um, all of the things of the tarot. So you can see the cups, you can see the wands, you can see uh, pentacles, you can see the air sign, which is the sword. Um, so the altar is dedication. It says... Um, Commitment's not a dirty word. Achievements focus. Goals are spurred. Choose one path to uh, lead the way with dedication. You'll not stray. So I think that's what you did. You decided to um, dedicate this all to you. You decide to be the center of your own attention. It says now it's time to gather all the tools you have obtained along your way, including that which you have uh, learned and experienced. So to me, this is kind of like the manifestation card. You go straight into manifestation mode and decide that you need to continue your life and keep going. That, you know, this isn't the worst disappointment you've ever felt, but it's still, you know, it still hurts your heart. Um, the sacred space that the altar has presented itself to 
oh, has presented itself to you. So now is the time for you to realize uh, where your allegiance truly lies. Remove the tendencies for favoring flanky indecision, uh, flaky indecision, so that you can... Um, so that you can bear your soul in truth and dedication uh, to that which flows through your veins and sings a strong um, song to your heart. Decide upon your path uh, carefully and wisely and make a full commitment to yourself and to that which you choose. The following um, uh, then follow through by um, means of dedication of your choice. Create an altar, offer a prayer, um, and thanksgiving to strengthen your relationship with your allies or with yourself. And what can you do instead of building an altar? You can just do meditation. You can go into meditation and just thank the universe for, you know, sometimes rejection is protection and maybe just this wasn't your thing and you shouldn't have moved forward on it anyway. So good on you for listening to the universe. We've got broomstick and clearance. Let's take a look at this. I have a feeling it's about clearing out the old to make ready for the new. Let's take a look here. Broomsticks and clearance. It says, give a tickle and give a tickle and flick with a helpful broom. Let's clear some space. I'm going to put it further out. <laughs> Let's clear some space and make some room. Open a window. Let air in. Clear the way around within. It says, um, the witch's wisdom is that you are an urgent need to create space for the energies um, that you are calling upon in order for them to be able to take their rightful place. You wonder why your spell work is, is dimmed, why all you... Why all you have to ask um, for has not yet been manifest. So if you're someone who's stuck um, and you're stuck and you feel like your manifestations are not being heard, it says here the answer is that the stench of clutter surrounds you. So it's time to maybe practice some feng shui. It's time to get things in order. Um, you know, uh, when things are cluttered around you, you have a cluttered mind as well. Uh, it says it's time for cleaning or clearing for magic needs space um, in order to be birthed. So get rid of all that you no longer need and uh, give away all that you no longer want um, and to be in line with yourself today. Clean up, sort out the trash, donate to charity, um, rearrange furniture and create some sacred space uh, that can work, feel at peace and be that you can work, feel at peace and be connected to. Call upon your trusted friend, Broomstick, to um, move um, to move Wittershins as it sweeps away the unnecessary contents of your mind, removing the constant internal chatter that has prevented you from hearing the voice of spirit clearly. So um, if you are the person who has that, um, that wheel going on and on and on in your head about the things that you aren't, just remember that you don't have to listen to everything that comes through your mind. You can um, choose to pick and choose the ones that you want to listen to and let the rest fly through. All right, so it looks like you, you know, and that's the thing about a Taurus. They just hit the ground running. You're like, okay, if this isn't the way we're going, then I'm just going to get into healing. I'm going to fix it and I'm going to move forward this way. That's how we handle it, right? So if this resonates with you, good for you. I'm glad for you. And I hope that this resonated with someone. Um, if you would like to leave me a message down below, I would love it. Please look up there. You'll see that I have some readings on sale until midnight on the 31st of October. And happy Halloween. Thank you.